Here is another problem that one of our viewers had. They were wondering just where you can locate a stair landing and how many stair landings you can put in a stairway. And I'm here to tell you that a stair landing can be located anywhere in the stairway. For example, it can be located one step away from the top or one step away from the bottom. Or you can have a couple of them in the landing. And again, you don't need to stick to this model. I could have a landing located one step away from the top and then four steps away landing and then come down. Or I could reverse it one step up landing, five steps up landing. Or I can come down three steps to a landing, two steps to another landing, one step to a landing, and then work my way down from there. Or I could simply have one landing at the top and one landing at the bottom and of course one landing located somewhere in the middle. Or instead of going straight up, I could have a stairway that goes off to the right or to the left. And this is a common stairway. This is often referred to as a L-shaped stairway with a landing. And this stairway can also have a landing located again anywhere within the stairway. One or two, three steps away from the top. Or one, two, three, four, or five steps away from the bottom. Or we can use another common design, and this is often referred to as a U-shaped stairway or a switchback. And this, of course, is another common design for stairs with landings. And in this design, the landing is often located somewhere in the middle of the stairway. For example, you might have five or six steps going up to the landing and then five or six steps going up to the second floor. Or you could have a situation like this. Again, the landing can be located anywhere within the stairway. And the landing can be even built larger longer. It just cannot be smaller. The building codes often require a minimum width for a stairway of 36 inches for most single family homes. And the depth of the stairway will need to be the same also. So the minimum size landing for something like this would be six foot wide and then three foot deep. And again, that's the minimum size. You can always make it larger. And the stairs can be located in a variety of different directions. For for example, I could have the stairway here, I could have it over here, I could have it coming up this way, I could have it switching back, or I could have it come down this way and then turn 90 degrees and come this way. And the stairs can be located in the center, on the left, or on the right if you're going to be using a larger landing. And again, can come down and go this way, can come down and go this way, can come down and go this way. And hopefully this makes sense. Now the one thing I did not get into was angling the landings because that can get a little tricky. However, if this is a subject that you're interested in, feel free to let me know by leaving a comment in the comment area and I will definitely make another video on that. And the reason why I'm not going into the details in this video is because sometimes angled steps or angled landings can be confused with winders and fall into the winder building code categories.